Hey everyone, Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today we're going to be doing the Nor Assassination Investigation Quest. We are in Beautiful Zykel, uh, where we do some of our other quests, and today we are going to be talking to this sign. Uh, it's a little weird. It kind of talks to you back, or you are thinking about something while you talk to it. I have no idea. Um... But you can do this in any of three towns. You can do it in the, basically, I think, what they consider the capital cities, which is Zykel, Hebe in Tow, and Craigstone. Once you talk to the sign, we're going to go into the town network. We're going to go to Lytlethorpe, which is over here. Yeah, so basically, you, you think that something is amiss after reading the sign. You head to Zykel, and then we're going to speak with Dame Brina O'Shea at 1 North 51.1 East. Town Crier. I went too far south, so she's maybe up the hill. Lytlethorpe is such a weirdly laid out town. Yeah, okay, so she's in the, uh, in the Lytlethorpe keep. You must have seen the sign. Please sit down. I did see the sign. Oh, wow, you actually sit. That's pretty cool. Sit and let me tell you a tale. Once again, ignore my inventory. <laughs> so this quest is quite a bit of running around, but it gives some cool rewards. Um, it gives like the dapper suit and the crimped hat, which is kind of a cool little tailoring uh, item that you could use. Along with a title and uh, like random... <laughs> oh wow, I actually got comfortable. This is funny. I felt like I should stand up, clear my throat, tell her everything would be fine, but that would mean she'd sob. Too late. The buzzing sound of her voice gave way to delirious talk about assassination. I pretended to listen and leaned forward. I think this is the only quest that I know of that you like your character like emotes like this while you're while you're listening to somebody. This is a very long monologue though. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. You say, I'll do it. Oh no. Okay, oops, I shouldn't have run away. There's my clean towel. And some, uh, an I trade note for 100 pyrils. Wow. This is funny. So then this is kind of the important clue for figuring out the actual quest, which is I weighed my choices and decided what I need to do. The entrance to the place would be hidden amongst the trees, but I'd find a way in. All right. So now that that weird, uh, you know, conversation is over, we're going to head back to the town network and we're actually, we're going to go to Nanto now. So through all of that, uh, conversation, you can glean that, uh, there are some portals in Nanto, or a portal in Nanto, which is in the show wing. Let me close all these, I don't want these open for you guys. All right, so let's find those tree portals. There they are. The portal tree portal trees 
five clicks pretty much directly north out of town. Which should portal us to the next step. Okay, so we made it to the tree portal. So there's one, two, three, three trees, maybe four trees. I was rattled. I found myself unable to find the forest for the trees. You think I felt pretty foolish. Now I was here playing patty cake with a tree. I felt pretty foolish. I had the urge to <laughs> Who designed this quest? This is so weird. I suddenly realized the tree was different from the others. There was a slight lumpy texture that coated the branches. But tree teleports you with knocked out. So I think you get like poisoned. Ooh, a bunch of shallows devourer school. Okay, so this is teleports you to this place in Freehold. Um, so there's an open journal somewhere. I think it was right where I portaled. Okay. So we have to read the open journal. We're going to get some more. I don't know. It's going to talk to us or I'm going to think about it. Some kind of strange powder created by a man that lurked in the shadows coated the branches. I've been kidnapped. You think, outside I heard the sounds of the jungle. I wasn't on the mainland on Dareth. No more likely this was the Visayan Islands. Oh, cool. There's like a life stone and stuff here. Let's see. This is kind of like a random island. Oh, no. It's like in the, like the center of McNeil's Freehold. Okay. So now we're going to go speak with Gentleman Jake Hawkins. Who I guess is the one who kidnapped me but didn't steal all my stuff. at him tell me everything you know he talked big but sobbed bigger <laughs> I might have to go kill the shells of hours after this to try to get that Olgrim scroll so he gives you a torch a portal gem and a confession So once we have all of that, we're just going to use the portal gem. This is going to take us to the bandit hideout. All right, so this bookcase is basically just a door. It's kind of obviously a door. This place was dark. All right, so supposedly you should wield the torch. If you can't see, which I don't know. Is it like actually that dark in here? We'll just, we'll do it for the, for the, you know, for the fun. Play along with the quest. All right, so we are making our way to the bottom, and then there's going to be a pit that we're going to jump into. So I think this all should just lead around. Cool set of steps. All right, here's the pit. We're going to jump into the pit. And then a graven idol. So I think we're just going to use it. The stone was smooth. I'm not going to read all this. The dark room had me jumping at shadows. I shivered. So many emotes. <laughs> okay, that was cool. You kind of like fell down. Beaten into submission. Alright, so now we are portaled 
into the bandit hideout prison. Can I stand up? Yep. So there's a broken fishing pole on the ground. I think, do we need to wield it? Once wielded. So now you can use your tab keys and there should be a key ring somewhere. And you can just press R now that you're wielding the fishing pole and then the fishing pole, which is kind of cool, will get the key for you from a distance. So now I can use the key on the cell door. And then if you notice when we were tabbing around, there was a bandit mask. Actually, you probably can't see what I'm tabbing around to because my face is covering it. But anyway, there's a bandit mask on the ground over here that you can find, pick up, and I think you have to wield it, put it on your head. Yeah. Now let me config, show your helm or headgear, because this is kind of funny. It fits perfectly with COVID. I just needed my mask. Um, once you have the mask on, so one of these torches on the north pillar, that's this one. Ooh, you can see there's like a key next to it as a clue. So that's the lever to open this door. There's a whole bunch of bandits. I guess that everybody's just sleeping. It's the middle of the night. If you take the mask off, I think they will aggro you. All right, um, we are going to quickly head through the door, pass the sleeping bat. So at the intersection, I don't think I've come to an intersection. This is the intersection up here. Go left, I don't think it really matters. There's an NPC here. Talk to him, Klaus. He asks for a hundred pyrials, which we conveniently have this I note, which we will give to him. He opened the door without hesitation and bowed deeply. Wow, this is a lot of gold. Too bad I can't just pick it up. All right, and then bribe him, hand your clean towel. Wait, hold on, did I miss something? Go through the door, down the hall, at the intersection, go left. Bribe Klaus, who opened the door to the treasure room before you go inside. Hand your clean towel to the encrusted scroll case. So I guess you clean up the encrusted scroll case and you get a odd scroll case that looks like a chicken I was happy and then we're gonna jump into the portal to the undisclosed location which okay takes you to Lytlethorpe that's convenient all right so that's actually the end of that quest honestly very strange. I look like a hobo now carrying around a broken fishing pole and wearing this mask. But now that we're done, we're going to run back to Dame Brianna Triel. And I think we can just hand her all these items. Uh, so the fishing pole, I think even the mask she'll take. Running into trees. All right, so let's see what happens. Odd scroll case. I was pleased that I'd figured out what the dame wanted. I could see I'd done well. You deserve a reward. Yes, please, please reward me. That's why I'm here. Okay, so this is a random piece of treasure, a gold flaming Tetsubo, a 350 wheel two-hander. Okay. Doesn't know what to do with the torch. 
confession. This is interesting. This man certainly uh, will certainly have information that we can use. Pretty swell work. Oh, I got two gifts. Okay, this is what we're really after. Crimped hat and a gumshoe token. And she gave me a trinket. Another random piece. Magic resistance self six. Wow, that's good. definitely better than my legendary storm ward. One vitality necklace. All right, so let's do the bandit mask. So what I'm really after on this quest is the title. I have 131 titles. This will get me to 132. And Levistris has a title leaderboard actually on their website. And currently I am in third place. So I'm, I'm in third place, but I'm behind by quite a bit. So I'm trying to catch up. All right, so the confession got me the dapper suit, which is one of the other you know main rewards. I'll hand in the... Um, broken fishing pole and see if I get anything for that. Oh, I was going to put on the dapper hat or the, the hat. What is this? Not the dapper hat. Crimped hat and the dapper suit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm, what to do? The dame paused and then turned away a moment. I stopped acting like a jerk. Why was I being a jerk? Ooh, a brass Seldon girth. Wow, with no spells on it. Okay, and then I think you can just hand the gumshoe token back. Hopefully. Next thing I knew, she was calling me a gumshoe. 132 titles. All right, let's uh let's put on this dapper suit. Which I'm going to yeah. There it is. A true gumshoe. Kind of a fun quest. A little different. No combat on that one. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of funny doing all the emotes while you're, uh, I don't know, talking to different things. But, uh, you know, gotta, gotta change it up every once in a while. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.